Hi, I'm Dr. Lalit Chavla, a family physician and the host of The Introverted Doctor podcast. And if you've seen any of my previous podcasts, you know that I'm focused on how to live your best life at work, home or, home or play. And I've been doing a few episodes on the coronavirus uh, because of the pandemic that we have right now. And if you want to listen to those episodes, just go to uh, your favorite podcast app and type in the introverted doctor and you'll find it or you can go to the introverted doctor.com and you'll see a whole bunch of other episodes as well i also interview some really great guests um, i have interviewed Haley rickenheiser who's going to be coming on uh, i just haven't released it yet but that's a really fun interview as well but anyway today's episode is about how do we prepare ourselves when we are working in a hospital or clinic and what do we do what do we, to make sure we are not bringing the coronavirus home to our family and keeping everybody safe, keeping ourselves safe to minimize the viral load uh, risk. So the first thing is when you are going to work, say you're working in a hospital or clinic and hopefully at the end of the day, if you have an opportunity where you can take a shower there, that's great. If not, then you'll more than likely have to do it at home. But the clothes that you're wearing it's best to take it off and put it into a cloth or bag or a cardboard bag because uh, coronavirus lives on cardboard, fabrics, paper for about 24 hours. That's what we know best right now. Uh, and on other, and this is March 29th, 2020, on other products uh, such as uh, countertops, plastics, it's uh, everything else lives the coronavirus lives more than three days so take your clothes off put it in there put on your other set of clothes and also same with your shoes have a separate pair of shoes that you leave at work and that you go home in uh, and just just remember that and when you take your clothes whether you leave it at work that's great if not then you need to bring it if you need to bring it home leave it in the garage leave it in your trunk uh, don't bring it into the house, don't track it into the house. Then when you come home immediately, I'm sure you all do this, go take a shower, use soap and, and shampoo your hair and you go from head to toe and then when you rinse, make sure you're rinsing from top to bottom. That's really the best way, don't do it any other way at all. Uh, make sure that's the last thing you do because you're rinsing it and basically everything all the dirt and germs would go down that way. And that is really it. Oh, the other thing I do want to mention is this. In your work environment, you know, don't wear watches or jewelry or when you're there. Like, I don't wear a wedding ring at work anymore because I'm washing my hands all the time. It's been like that for so long. I, I don't even wear it, wear it anymore. I'll wear it on occasion, you know, if we're on holidays or something. But um, jewelry and all that, good place for germs. And it makes it harder to wash your hands because water gets in and, and it's kind of hard that way. The other thing, ladies, if you have long fingernails or extensions or your fingernails are longer, it's better to keep it cut short because the fingernails are great places for all kinds of germs to live anyway and coronavirus is especially especially there as well so think of it as a little housing unit i know it's not the best also um nail polish and some of the lacquer that you would use i think it's called lacquer um i i don't know the exact names of the nail polish thing but that could probably make it harder for the coronavirus to come off so that's something you might want to consider Especially in this time, keep your fingernails short. Obviously, don't bite your fingernails, and uh, you know it's harder for. I have some good, some friends who are fingernail biters, and that's a good way to introduce germs. So that's the other thing I wanted to mention. And um, remember, shoes are a tremendous tracker of germs. They germs will stay on the bottom of your soles for at least five days. So some households, I know certain parts in America, people walk with their shoes all the way up and down their bedroom, you know, 
in, in Canada, we always take our shoes off at the entrance, but that's something you want to consider because germs stay on the bottom of the feet of the shoes for a very, very long time. And that's all I wanted to say. Please share this with other people who you think might benefit from this. And thank you so much for listening. You know, we'll get through this pandemic and we'll get it through it together. There's so many great things being done. And I'm wishing you and your family great health and happiness during this time. And have a great day. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much for listening.